All right, now that we have the part on the USB stick, uh, 1,450 points, uh, we're going to bring it up in Mastercam and splan all the points together. So the way that we do that, we look at our directions and we go to File, Open, and we go to the flash drive. This one is a Kingston J drive, and I see Grant's Reverse Engineering and it's an IGES file, so I just click on that to open it. And there you can see part of it up in the upper left corner, so if I fit it to screen, it's this right here, right under the word solids. It says it's a little blue thing, and if you click on that, it'll fit it to the screen. And now we want to reduce it just maybe a little bit. Okay, so there's our part that all the dots that we picked up. That's basically the outside of the part. So once we get it to this point, we'll create a spline. So we go to Create, Spline, Automatic Spline. And when I get here, I want to enlarge the part just slightly. I'm going to click on this right here. So I've enlarged that area. Now I'm going to click on the first point, second point, and then go back to that first point. So I'm going to click three times. First point is, actually it can be any of these. It doesn't have to be this one that I clicked on. There we go. I can click on one point, the direction I want to go, and then back on the same point that will stop. So basically I'm clicking on three points, or making three clicks on two points. First point, the direction I want to go, I'll click, and then click on the first point again. That's my ending point. Okay, so I've just splined my entire part together. So let me fit it to screen again. And there it is. I've got 1,450 points. Now they're all hooked together with a line. So the next thing I want to do, I want to, go, I want to delete all my points. So what I'm going to be left with is a series of lines. So I'm going to click on Edit, Delete, Delete Entities, F5, and I can click on all and then down here I have this little section of a box that says points I want to delete on all points entities points and click OK and now all of my points are highlighted yellow but my line is still green so once I click on this green ball in selection all of my points go away and I'm left with lines so I want to repaint it so there's my finished product the finished part is all there so I'm left with the lines now I can machine those, I can chain them, machine them. I do want to move those in half of the probe, which it does not compensate. So what I would do is move everything in. I can scale it in uh, half of the 312 thousandths of the probe. The last thing I want to do is save this on my flash drive as an MCX file. So I'll go to File, Save As. I'm going to save it on my Kingston drive, Grants Reverse Engineering, as an MCX file. I do that, it's saved on my flash drive, and now when I turn in my print, I'll print this off, and then I'll, I'll actually hand in my lab exercise along with my USB stick, and it'll have, I'll be able to pull up an image of my reverse engineered part. If you have any questions, hunt me down and let me know. Thank you.